what camera angle do you use for hitting let me know in the comments i personally just use strike zone the normal one what i'm doing today is every hit switching my camera angle starting with just strikes on the one i normally use home team though so we get a pitch first facing sandy alcantara on the mound we've got matt strom good start hit it straight to jeter Oh, I don't think that's going to be out number two. To me, it looks like my center fielder would easily get here. I know Eduardo Escobar did, but for me, and I know I can switch pressing the left trigger, but I just really felt like my center fielder had a better beat on it. Maybe a little bit faster is what it looked like. We're one out away from a scoreless, easy one, two, three. Top of the first inning. All right, let's try not to let that 99 speed come around to score. And look at that, a pretty easy top of the first inning. We're starting with strike zone every hit. I'm going to be changing my camera angle. I would like to get as many hits as possible. My biggest concern for today, please don't be a line out. Man, Lou Brock, we need to start hitting it into the gaps with him. But my biggest concern today is one, not being able to get any hits. But then number two, if I do get hits, running out of pause time from going and changing the camera angles. We got one more hope. It's 99 Derek Jeter here in the bottom of the first inning. It's been a pretty quick one so far. Two pitches, two outs. Unless it's down the middle, I'm taking this pitch all the way. Okay, that wasn't down the middle, but we did get a base hit. So strike zone, not going to be using that anymore. Let me go to the pause menu, gameplay, control, camera. Here we go. So hitting view, I'm going to go to the left and we're going to try retro. Maybe just go left every time. So if I got another hit, we'd switch to offset zoom. But right here, I'm trying retro. Yo, oh, bro, this is going to give me motion sickness. I'm, oh no, this is this maybe was not the best idea. This might not end up being a 12 0 team at this rate. Is that a hit? I don't. Okay. Wait, that's actually not too bad. I'm going to send him to second because I think he'll throw to second. And then I'm going home. And we are out at home. But when we come up to bat again, after we try to get through this inning, not allowing a run, once we're up to bat again, my camera angle is going to be switched, like y'all saw to offset zoom i need a double play is that a double play ian kinsler glove toss jeter the bare hand wow what a play by our defense this knuckle curve has my opponent swinging we're gonna keep throwing it and we're gonna keep giving up base hits i think i gotta go back to the fastball after blowing it by him there striking him out in the last inning on one oh no ian kinsler you get here you get here he got there okay another scoreless inning now we're gonna go change our camera angle again dominic fletcher leading us off i'm going from this to this wait i'm kind of at an angle now this almost feels like i'm the umpire setting up behind and left of the catcher a little bit let's see if dominic fletcher could maybe get a base hit force us to change that camera angle i thought that was just gonna hit my guy i thought that was gonna run in and hit him and it's painting the inside corner we made a swing there, but if I want to change this cam- Oh, now it's from the other side! If I want to change this camera angle, I gotta get a base hit. Are there people that are actually, like, playing online using this camera angle? I know we just got a base hit. So it's time to change the camera angle once again. I think we're on offset zoom is what it's called. And we are going from this. Let's go back to settings. The next one is going to be offset two. I would imagine this is probably pretty similar. Yeah seems like maybe it's a bit more zoomed out didn't no way we just went yard no nah, only 89 power on that nelson cruz card we got one more out to work with in the bottom of the second i would love to not lose today i would actually like to score some runs and win this ball game wait a minute wait a darn minute reese hoskins perfect perfect 445 foot two run bomb we are three ounce away from winning this ball game i kind of liked how that camera angle felt right there so we're i almost quit this ball game so we're switching from offset two now just a normal offset and is this one like even more zoomed out i wish there was a way for me to easily see these side by side i think maybe i could go into practice mode and do it that way but I would love to keep this inning going and just try as many camera angles as possible right now. 
For a second, I thought I just hit another home run. Ian Kinsler, one pitch, and we're already done with the normal offset camera angle. Now we should get on to a whole new category. So let's see, Lou Brock, what camera angle are we going to next? From offset to fish eye number two, with Lou Brock two down, two run lead here in inning number two. Oh, drop? No. Wait, he took a step back? Nah, man, that one's not dropping. I'm hoping that in this game, we don't get any more at-bats. But in the next game, hey, we're going to stick with Fisheye 2. Assuming we don't blow this lead and go to the bottom of the third. Let's try to get final three outs and just win this Battle Royale game. So far, so good. We've pitched pretty well overall. Back-to-back -back pitches, back-to-back -back outs. I tried to just have a three-pitch inning. If he goes to second, it's going to end up being one. He's stopping at first. And as long as we don't give up a home run right here, we should be fine. Four pitches in the inning. Four swings in the inning. We got the win. Let's go start this next game using Fisheye 2. 2-0 two with this Battle Royale team that we drafted yesterday. And we are the away team starting with Fisheye 2 hitting first against this clay holmes card i will say i really do enjoy being able to see the batter when i'm hitting i hope this gets down no so we're still on fisheye too but it's actually pretty nice being able to see the entire hitter and not just see like maybe their elbows and their knees francisco alvarez supercharged facing clay holmes 99 Derek jeter on deck one of them has got to get us from fisheye 2 to the normal fisheye right Ooh. This could drop, honestly. It might hang up too long. It did hang up a little bit too long. Bryce Harper able to make the play. Derek Jeter, final hope for us in the top of the first inning. He made the play. Yeah, so no hits for us. Top of the first. We're going to have to go pitch now. I would love an easy 1-2-3 first inning like we just gave our opponents. Back-to-back -back pitches, back-to-back -back outs. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to force a three-pitch inning because I don't want to risk giving up a home run when I'm already down to my final six outs in this game, especially facing Dr. Smooth right here. But I want to mind a three-pitch inning. I really wish I was better at throwing sinkers. Every time I try to aim a sinker below the zone... My opponents still get under it, and we are down to our final six outs in this game. Where's my shortstop? There was nobody there. I know they had the shift on. That's a two-out base hit from Harper. Spencer Turnbull. I'm tempted to take him out of this game, but I think I'm going to let him face William Contreras and try not to give up a two-run bomb. Broken bat. Reese Hoskins made the play. We're down by one, so I need hits. I need my camera angle to be changing here in the top of the second. Leading off is Eduardo Escobar. Fisheye 2 is still my current camera angle. I don't like that I'm missing pitches down the middle, but the thing is, I do that no matter what the camera angle is. It's rough sometimes. I almost feel like I'm always moving my PCI that when I get a pitch down the middle, I just don't keep it there. Go, baby. Dominic Fletcher, 72 power. And it's caught at the warning track. We have one more out in the top of the second, but this game is slowly, or I should say quickly, coming to an end. And Will Smith gets a base hit. There we go. We're moving from fisheye two to just normal fisheye. Nelson Cruz just missed a homer in his last game. I'm kind of feeling like he might hit a home run right here. Please. Don't be caught. It's gone. Wait, I actually just called a homer. I haven't done that in forever. Nelson Cruz gives us a two to one lead. Oh, so now we get to switch from fisheye to catcher near. I'm interested to see what this looks like. And this reminds me of maybe the MLB The Show 16 camera angle from back in the day. I'm not sure if they still have that, but it also kind of looks like fisheye. But a little bit more zoom, or no, not fisheye, it looks like retro. But a little bit more zoomed in than retro. I've taken a lead somehow. I'm hoping we can hold on to it. Bottom of the second coming up, winning by one. I thought he was going to catch it. Lou Brock does not have a good enough arm to get 70 speed at second right here. I wish he did. 
Not even close. Lead off double for Eduardo Escobar. I think I had him in a 1-2 count, and then I just threw a pretty hittable fastball. Hoping he wouldn't be able to catch up to 102, but he easily did. And now we got to try to not let that run score, man. He's in scoring position with nobody down. And I am down to my final three outs in this game with nobody down. Brandon Lowe, two run shot, man. Got to get the curveball lower. We can't. Uh, how many times am I going to give up home runs on pitches that are just barely below the zone and then be surprised about it? You know, I, I feel like it's just an every game thing for me at this point. Now, that one was not below the zone. That one, I just completely messed up the pinpoint back to back homers. And we're going to have to have a pretty great rally in the top of the third down by two now. I am just not fooling him with Ryan Helsley right here. I think I'm going to keep him in for at least one more batter or run and try to keep this deficit where it's at. Down by two. Please make the play. There we go. Okay, so pretty good recovery following the back-to-back -back homers, but those homers have definitely killed. I don't want to say my hopes this game because I still got confidence to win. But at the same time, I'm using a camera angle that I've only used for one batter ever. Catcher near. And we're going to see if we can get this final strike. Get strike three. And then go come back and at least tie this game up. Three and two with Dr. Smooth on deck. It's strike three. Besides the home runs, you know, we really didn't pitch that badly. But because of those, we're losing. And I'm down to my final three ounce. Catcher near is my current camera angle for hitting. I got to get a base hit, switch camera angles, start making this comeback. Bloop and a blast, and this game's tied. Oh, there we go. Ian Kinsler, yes, sir. All of a sudden, a home run, and we're all tied up at four. Nobody down in the top of the third. The top of our lineup's coming back around, thanks to our nine-hitter, Ian Kinsler. Lou Brock, I think, in this BR run is over four, maybe with four lineouts. And we have catcher near, now going to catcher far. Let's see how far away this camera angle is. This one does seem a little bit more zoomed out, but I don't know if it's that bad. Lou Brock going the other way. See, this is what we need Lou Brock to do. Who's coming up? Is it Francisco? Yeah, supercharged Francisco. We're going from catcher far now to catcher. And let's see if we can get a hit with catcher. Back-to-back -back singles to start this inning. And Francisco Alvarez hits a three-run home run. We've taken the lead. We have ice injected into our veins today. His first of the year is a huge one. Wow. And now we're switching from catcher to zoom. Let's see how zoom's looking. This is what I was using when I was playing road to the show. I kind of had more fun using this than just normal strike zone. For whatever reason, when I'm talking and I try to hit, I just forget to move my PCI. If I would have just moved my PCI a little bit up, I think we would have had back-to-back -back homers. But let's see if Eduardo Escobar could keep it going in the top of the third, and he does. I moved my PCI up a teeny tiny bit, and for some reason, somehow, it ended up being enough. We've taken a two-run lead. We get to switch our camera angle once again from zoom now to wide and we're almost on the strike zone camera angles that would be some type of top of the third inning if we could get all the way to the one that we started at in this video i thought we just went yard again i didn't move the pci up i'm telling y'all if i would just shut my mouth for a second and move the pci up a little bit we would have had four or five home runs in a row. Derek Jeter would have had one. Dominic Fletcher would have had one. Maybe I need to start the PCI just up a little bit. Oh, man. I'm kind of liking some of these different camera angles. They're not as bad as I thought they would be. Oh, God. <laughs> I moved the PCI up, but I also chased a pitch way above the zone. I didn't even think we were going to be in the bottom of the third. Here we are, trying to be 3-0 with this Battle Royale team that we drafted in yesterday's video. Dr. Smooth, there's no way he hits another homer. And Michael Brantley, aka Dr. Smooth, has hit his second home run of the game. Another one of those, and all of a sudden we're tied. I would prefer to just get these final three outs in this ball game. Let me actually aim pitches below the zone now. I struck him out on this pitch earlier in the game. 
and we're striking him out with that pitch again i love that new umpire animation this year where he kind of punches upwards to show strike three i've really enjoyed seeing that animation especially on a looking strikeout of bryce harper it feels pretty good and we're two outs away from winning this game but now a home run and i lose this game now the winning run is on base with only one down there we go double play ball right 58 speed if we don't turn this i'm selling the team if y'all enjoyed the video drop a like subscribe for daily uploads i will see y'all in tomorrow's daily upload i had a lot of fun today peace